Thank you very much for tuning in to this episode. If you happen to enjoy it, don't forget to share it with your friends and family. But if you're a hater, don't forget to share it with your fellow haters too, because haters gonna hate. Now let's get started. Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and welcome back to the show. Today I'd like to talk about a special little game, Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is a game that has been consuming my life for the past month or so, which is awesome open world epic RPG goodness. Now, I don't want to dive too deep into this, but if you want a game that has a real heft for historical accuracy and realism, and also just kind of a really gritty funniness to it, this is a game I really highly recommend. But I want to talk about one of the mechanics of this game. So what are we talking about in Kingdom Come Deliverance? Well, you know, if you've seen the thumbnail, we're talking about the lockpicking. Okay, so you might be wondering, lockpicking, that's usually a pretty simple mechanic in a video game. Usually it's a little mini game where you pick locks, essentially, right? You have all kinds of different methods of doing that. Sometimes they're really simple, like Skyrim, where you simply just waggle around a joystick or something like that until you hit the sweet spot, and then you hit a button, and then you lockpick it. You know, very simple stuff. Now, Down Phoenix, why are you making a video about such a minute, optional detail in this video game? That's just something that's so petty and pointless, right? Well, you do have a point, I suppose. But I really just wanted to make this video because this lockpicking system sucks! It is terrible! As I have affectionately put it. Okay. I'm not a fan of this mechanism. Now, as you can see, I really didn't have the best of times with this lockpicking system. This is just a system that is so convoluted and has so many problems. Now, I hear that on the PC, it's actually a lot easier because you don't have to go into quite such intricate controls. But let me show you an example of how you are supposed to lockpick in this game. Okay, man, this is not a good lockpicking system in the slightest. This is really ignorant. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a PlayStation 4 controller. You guys are probably well familiar with what this controller does and how you handle it and so on, I would imagine. Now, take a game like Skyrim, where essentially what you do is you hold the button and you maneuver it around until you get to the sweet spot. That is all there is to it. It's a very simple and easy to understand mechanic. Now this game does a little bit differently because you have to navigate this joystick to a certain zone and then you have to move both joysticks in tandem at the same time. One of your hands has to be on a sweet spot. So it has to be at a certain position on the analog stick. It doesn't have to go all the way. It has to be at a certain kind of middle somewhere. And then the other one has to go all the way. And then you have to kind of spin them together Keep it in mind that the hand that has the sweet spot can't be spent all the way. It has to stay within the same relative zone. Now, it is completely optional, but it's also kind of bogus with the way this game treats the tutorials of the lockpicking system. You will love, love this rant here, guys. Like this, you don't require any finesse. You just have to go like this. But this, you have to do it with a lot of finesse. Well, I'll probably demonstrate it perfectly whenever I do this now. Yeah. Man, those developers, they don't know how to do a lockpicking system, unfortunately. I, I'm out of lockpick now. I can't learn to lockpick, apparently. Are you going to give me another, sir? So, you can literally fail the fucking tutorial for the lockpick because you can break your lockpick. And now I have no idea. I don't have a lockpick to fucking lockpick the guy's fucking house. So, here's what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to... Where, where's the where's the fucking axe at or whatever I had? Okay, quit. Here's what we're gonna do. Why can't I swing it? The best game for lock picking, in my opinion, is Elder Scrolls Oblivion. It's really funny when you think about it because this was basically the first game I ever played that had any kind of lock picking mini game. It's so insane that the first time they did it was the best time, and every time that we've had lockpicking in a game since has been crappier. So let's bring it back to Elder Scrolls Oblivion. It was a really easy and simple mechanic to learn. 
you understood exactly how to play it, and the game gave you a lot of useful feedback, but it wasn't convoluted in the way that you played it. It takes practice, yes. It also takes actually programming good game mechanics, too, which they can't do clearly, so I'm not going to invest the time in the practice of it. You know, it, it's it's just a terrible mechanic. It's all there is to it. I know you say it needs practice. Okay, it needs practice to get good at a shitty mechanic. Yes, it does. But I'm not willing to invest the time into it. So I'm just going to play the game without lockpicking, I guess. I've just had it with the freaking lockpicking system in this game. Ugh! So I think that's all we've got time to talk about on this, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's episode. I'd like to know if this is a series that you'd like me to continue. If you'd like to see more videos like this discussing other mechanics and games that were a lot better then than they are now. So let me know if you have any suggestions for that. But till then, down Phoenix out. Thank you again for tuning into this episode. I have a couple of questions today from Cyrus Martin. First of all, is popcorn butter flavored or is butter popcorn flavored? I think we all know the answer to that. I think Cyrus is just trying to test me. Clearly, popcorn is butter flavored, but it can be all kinds of other flavors as well. It can be cheddar flavored. It can be kettle flavored. It can be all kinds of fun little flavors because popcorn is a great and versatile snack that is healthy and tasty. So I definitely love popcorn, but be careful eating those kernels. Another question, if a Michael Bay left Chicago traveling at 50 miles per hour and a Rosie O'Donnell left New York traveling at 60 miles per hour, which train wreck would you rather see? Well, I think I would personally rather see the Michael Bay train wreck because you know with the explosions that that's gonna have, they're gonna be so huge that you can see it from halfway across the world and it is gonna be a wondrous and beautiful sight, of course, before mankind gets destroyed as we know it. Now, Rosie O'Donnell one's probably not gonna be nearly as devastating, but ugh, who wants to see that, right? <laughs> But anyways, thank you very much, Cyrus, for asking those questions. If you'd like to have your questions answered at the end of a episode, just be sure to leave it in the comments below. But till then, down Phoenix out.